Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are going to be continuing our Phoenix Rising playthrough. Uh, so this is going to be live stream for about two episodes worth, uh, and then those episodes are going to go up on Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this was recorded live on Twitch. If you're watching this on Twitch and you can't stay for the whole thing, uh, there will be the full episodes on YouTube or the Twitch VOD right afterwards. Uh, but after that, our next live stream of PR should also be on Thursday uh, on Twitch as well. So uh, we do have Bob here once again for at least the start of this stream. Uh, so hey, Bob. Hello. Yeah, I'll be here for about the first episode or so. Okay, there we go. So I'll have expert guidance uh, for those of you who are unaware. Bob is the uh, current developer for Phoenix Rising, lead developer. Uh, I'm not sure what official title Chandler still wants to have. But uh, yeah, so in the last few episodes, we've been kind of clearing out the middle of the map here. Uh, there are a few planets left over in this direction that we still need to get, uh, specifically Agmar, Polis, Terris, and Vinsoth. But I think once we have uh, Vinsoth... We should be able to build up some more defenses and hopefully start getting some more ships going. We do have uh, a fleet that is building up over Lista Hall, where we have our last uh, invincible. Oh, Bob's too quiet. I can turn him up. Let's see. You want to say something, Bob, and see if that's better? Hello, hello. Testing, testing, testing. All right, that was louder for me. I don't know. You guys can just let me know if there's any problem still there. Uh, and I will get that changed. Uh, so where's our where's our army? Do I have an army? I do have an army. It's over at Tangerine. So let's get these guys down to Vinsoth. Destination set. Uh, I should pause again. They do like to interrupt my production, which is very rude of them. Uh, but I think we do need as well to build up a little bit more. Uh, in terms of ground units. So, Corfir, we can actually... Uh, we're waiting for more production facilities, walker facilities to be built. Uh, let's get two of those queued up. And we'll also build an ATTE there. Uh, we mostly are relying on Juggernauts right now, which worked out well in the Death Valley situation, but I don't want to lean complete. too much on that. Invasion commencing. Let's see how we do so, here. Uh, a word of warning, don't bother upgrading ATTEs past rank 2 because uh, X3 and X4, when it, for this version of the mod, Choose your reinforcements. Error, so they only have 252 set. HP, which is about Proceeding. what they should have. Oh. At maximum oh, yeah. unit capacity. So, what I just heard, everyone, was that Bob doesn't like the Clone Wars, and he yeah, unfairly sorry. makes yes. them weaker than they need to be. Hey there, out of fire. So when did you discover your hatred of the Clone Wars, Bob? Moving out. Um, sometime around, I want to say... 2011? Maybe. Maybe. Awaiting orders. But good news for all those Clone Wars aficionados in the next patch that I've been working on currently, which Reporting. isn't going to be due for quite a while yet. Uh, a number of Clone Wars units will become buildable that weren't previously, so you... All those LA, LA, LAATs, their own starting ahead. forces, ATAPs, Arc 170s, and such will be actually built ready. when you select locations. Destination set. So, lots of pandering coming up. Proceeding. Uh, okay, I need to kill these Plex guys before Proceeding. bad things happen to my Juggernauts. My usual strategy of running stuff over <laughs> is coming out in force. It is very, it is very effective. The vanguards are quite slow. Yeah, Bob is still quiet. There we go. There, I've got you up at two hundred percent now. Armored transport ready. Yeah, I'm ready. extra extra loud, I guess. Ready. Copy that. There we go. They always seem kind of reluctant to drive over the stuff I tell them to, Target but acquired. then they end up it looks seeing like the light. Of, most of the infantry have gone to go hide in the village. Yeah, that's, that's what those cowardly rebels always do. Yes, sir. 
Hiding behind civilians. Roger. Reporting in. Just go send the Royal Guard in to flush him out. Uh, I can try to boost up my Discord volume in general. But other than that, I've pretty much boosted him as much as I can. Uh, output volume, is that going to be... There, I might... Alright, here goes the elite barracks, which uh, the Bothan is hiding in. Reporting in. Okay. okay, so I think I know why my microphone is so quiet, so you're going to want to turn me down right now, because I'm going to turn myself up on my end, because oh, I told 6%, so oh, God. be ready. Oh god, hold on. Oh god. Oh god. Alright. Testing. Oh my god. I didn't turn you down enough. I think we're good now. Testing? Might even still be a little too loud, but I'll figure that out. Oh god, they're coming out of the built out of the They're coming out of the woodwork. They're just everywhere. What are your orders? At your command, going. I guess they were just shopping or something. Awaiting orders. Well, Thank Vinsoth this... uh, is a slave planet, so uh, that's meant to be like a little slave village in the map. Affirmative. Mm. Make sure the sub, Mr. P. Copy. Hey, Fiddy. Copy. Form up. Target. Oh, the Royal Guards are going to be plopping through. I copy. Oh, there's a lot of barracks here that I... Well. Alright, you're going to drive over this way because I'm assuming that you're going to run over some people while doing that. And... I'm going to need more of these guys. Lone Ranger is saying CSA Interdictor when... Uh, CSA Interdictor will most likely be a Gravity Well satellite, so you'll have it on defense but not offense. Because the CSA don't really have a record of using any Interdictors. If you can find a good civilian style Interdictor used for capturing pirates, that would be the most appropriate. But I don't think there are very many of those. The only one I can think of is the CC7700, but that's already for the Rebels. I don't particularly want to copy it across to the CSA roster if I can avoid it. Alright, I'm actually going to build a repair thingy, and I'm going to start shuffling back some of these uh, more damaged units. We've lost a couple of our Royal Guards, but they're replaceable. In that, I'll just throw more stormtroopers at them later. At your command. Uh, yeah, we can blow up those buildings now. I think everything else should be fine. You're slowly healing up. Okay, no more replenishment. I'm actually not sure auto fire. Yeah, I've never tried the Twitch iPhone app either. The Android app isn't brilliant, so I wouldn't be surprised if the iPhone app is much better. It's probably the same. Proceeding. Reporting. Yes, sir. On my way. Transport here. I haven't used iPhone or any Apple stuff in like three years now. Four years almost. Okay, let's... Yes, Commander. You guys get out of there. We're gonna run stuff over. Very original of me, I know. Something I've never tried oh, before. That's what juggernauts are for. Ready. 
That sound effect has to be like the. I, I don't know. Yes, Commander. Cannons it, Let's go. I've heard it too much in my life now. It's um yeah, it's very Command and Conquer. It's definitely them showing the heritage there with that particular audio. Yeah. Yeah, the uh the time I got mugged it was that was my iPhone. That was my last Apple product. And naturally I blamed them for not having enough theft protection in the device. And that's why I've never used one since Right, there's still a little there's another elite bar barracks down there. Reporting. As you wish, General. I copy. Reporting. They just really wanted infantry at Pinsoff, apparently. Yes, sir. Proceeding. Gotta keep the slave rebellions down. On my way. Moving out. Transport here. Speaking of rebellions, I've been thinking about Transport doing a ready. kind of European Universal style rebellion system, and pirate war. I'm not sure how much effort I want to put into trying that, but it should be plausibly possible. Uh, that's semi like what the diplomacy system we had in testing was. Attack! I assume, okay. like I've seen you talk about it a little bit, and I, I think that in some ways mirrors those mechanics. So. Yeah, ultimately the only real really hard part is making sure you have the appropriate like tables in memory that you can access for all the planets and keep them updated. That's yeah. the only really hard part and Poxon could probably do that in his sleep. So Yeah, we had uh we had them based on sectors, so your influence in the sector was uh what determined when stuff wanted to flip. But part of the part of the problem there was that because of uh how stuff gets grouped up with the starting positions uh, especially for the right New Republic in TR, oh, well, that, cool. yeah. there'd be Copy. some GCs Copy. where you'd be like losing Ready. your planets immediately uh, when they were more Copy. isolated. Reporting. Yeah, I think I would do it on a per planet basis myself and then have it so that uh, it would be purely be independent rebellions. It wouldn't be any kind of factional rebellion uh, usually. Yeah. And then the rebels themselves would get some kind of like national unrest bonus, basically, so they don't have such a hard time because they shouldn't, because they're the good guys, you know. But that's something I've been musing about. There's nothing more satisfying than when stuff like lines up properly for you to run it over the in like one go. Maybe that's. Something I should bring up in therapy. Bombardment commencing. Hey, Boxlord. Do you need me to write a note for your employer auto fire? Will that will that help? But the streamer said I could. Medically necessary. <laughs> A dose of Cory a day. Injected right into your veins. Right. Well, actually, just going to co copy the rebel plan there and just fill it with barracks. Yeah, uh, well, it seemed to work for them. They killed my uh, my royal guard, so I figured we needed some new infantry and we needed a place to get them. That's true. You always benefit from having more of one type of thing, so... Choose your reinforcements. You see, you have confirmed. learned something. Location confirmed. Well, that's the kind of thing you learn from paying attention to the droid advisors. Heading out. That yes, is and tactics. Uh, Use tactics. And now there's... Basically, what I've done is compile the droid advisor into one easy-to-reach place in the, in, in the uh, mission log, so now everyone can read all of the tips at, at any time that they choose to, instead of having it popped up for 10 sec well, a second, and then disappear. So, basically, Phoenix Rising has a manual inside the mod now. It's missing the most important one of all. Ascendancy Star Destroyers, like the Purple Berries. Okay, I need to remember that one. I don't think we have any Ascendancy Star Destroyers in Phoenix Rising, though, so... Well, whose fault is that? TIE Squadron here. Choose your reinforcements. I... Probably yours? Cannons armed. Yes, sir. Probably. Everything is. Coming about. 
Um, I'm still making my mind up about the Octens because uh, it, it, I mostly just want it to be a Warlords faction unit rather than like an actual tech tree faction unit for Warlords rather than an Imperial constructible unit. At your command. There, I turned on the chat box now. I should have said I was doing that at the time, so my most sincere apologies to everyone, but... Now everyone will see what we're talking about when we're talking. Orders, sir. Ready for command, sir. Frequency open. Confirmed. Other things that I've added. Let's see, what else, what have I added Ready since you last played? And obviously confirmed. I've already mentioned a few things since you last since we're you started this way. playthrough, but I've recently the biggest change is changing the uh, the time tick to months instead of weeks. So now Instead of a 30 second week, we now have 84 second months. And essentially, that has doubled production speed and reduced income by a lot, by 75% effective. So uh, it's a lot harder to just accrue credits. And um, yeah, things build faster in real time, so you're not sitting around in galactic mode waiting, and things travel faster as well. Oh, wow, they built an ion cannon. I'm not sure why they built one on Dathomir, but they built Nyon Cannon. I'm not sure why they use it on the Carrick instead of the BSD. They just wanted to make sure the shields were down. Did you notice the shields are still up? The other, the other thing uh, from me, most relevant to the Empire side really, is that I've uh, I updated the scaling of Rebel Ship Explosions, so they actually match the size of the ship, and so you don't have like a hilarious poof when an entire yes, uh, independence class goes up. Oh no, we're going to lose a Carrick. That Ion Cannon actually did something for them. Oh, and even more Clone War stuff, the Lucre Hulk has been added into the CSA tech tree. What mod did you get the Lucre Hulk model from? Um, I don't know, some obscure uh, like post-Endor mod. I don't think you've heard of it. The Range Revengi? I think I've heard of that one. I thought the Revengi were a Star Trek race. Just silence? No, no yeah. come back there? No, I, there were about three different directions I wanted to go with that, and ultimately I chose none. So, let that be a life lesson for everyone. Commit, or else... Just settle for whatever's available. <laughs> That's awful, awful advice. You all yeah, deserve so the say, best. I'd say Asterix of the CSA are basically their entire... The, the only thing they're really missing now is the Esper Walker, which I'm still waiting on Code User to finish. But um, apart all from right. that, they're pretty much done. That's my Code User impression. No one will get that because none of, <laughs> nobody's talked to him. But it's very accurate. Cody. What are you doing today? Right away. The best be part about streaming is when you do stuff that's only intended to entertain yourself and has no relevance to the lives of anyone else watching. That's top quality content. I mean, you know, we've all heard him. If people have been watching your your siege playthroughs and stuff, that's uh, true. So no one's heard it. Put him in that. But to be fair, most of most of the siege. Stuff has been like Kalo screaming. Kalo doesn't scream. Raising his voice. Unless that's just listen his natural here, tone. you fuck. It might just be his. Yeah, it might just be his natural tone. To be honest. Uh, Asterix. Uh, uh, well, you weren't specifically talking about that, but uh, one of the things that people do tend to come. Uh, have issues with with the uh, workshop is when mods update and then uh, that causes their save to be unusable On my way, sir. but uh, you can actually make a copy of the folder and you can have it installed the old-fashioned way so you can have like a backup of whatever version you started on so you'll still get the updates in the version you're subscribed on uh, but you'll be able to maintain whatever you were doing before the update too so uh, 
I guess that's on the workshop page for TR if people want to see that. You're, it's basically just copying a folder and running mods the old-fashioned way, but uh, that can be helpful. Yeah, another, uh, another thing is that uh, with the new update, because of the change from weeks to months, the time frame in, in real time, you're spending a lot less time in galactic, you know, half, literally half the time in galactic mode, um, comparatively building the same number of units. So you can get yourself set up and building a lot more quickly. Construction complete. Station ready. Invasion commencing. And yes, now you can get uh, Piet, who's actually pretty handy. He gives you uh, enforcement, so you get credits when you kill independent units. Right away, sir. And rebels, I think. So that'll be good to have uh, him and Thrawn. I'm hoping I can get some Star Destroyers for by the end of the playthrough. Uh, but yeah, that's actually where the change. There'll be one rebel, one rebel planet left, and you'll have, you know, a Star Destroyer. It'll be great. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm looking forward to the changes with the, uh, with the build speed and stuff. So that should make it. Yeah, it will help a lot, I think. <laughs> For the smaller GC, is it? Especially. Yes, Commander. It also makes it feel smoother as well, even though it isn't. Armed and ready. Really, with smoothness, all that matters is how it feels. So. Reporting in. I keep forgetting to put in the thing to yes, make the juggernauts drive right both away. ways in TR. It's pretty easy. Yeah, it's one line of code. And I, I want to kind of put in like eight directions and see how that works. So it just. I think it probably there. just means that it would like slide. slide. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to see that. It would be pretty funny. I kind of want to try how giving repulsi units like four directions so they yeah. can strafe properly. But that could also get weird because they'll probably just end up going backwards a lot. Interesting that the ATP I wish I could... has a mass driver here, but not in TR. That's actually going to change. Not here, in TR. Roger that. Yeah, the, the Blender Explorer is so close to being done. So wish. very close. I know I keep saying that every time. But this time, Roy this time, Ormond. there really is just one like minor animation problem with it that Gop was going to fix. And then once, once that's done, we can definitely get this ATTE animation sorted out. Yeah, that like so. Uh, we actually posted a video of the ATTE animations when they were first done by Sleverd. Uh The problem is he did them in, I think, Maya 2015, 2016, some much newer modeling program, uh, and we had to export in 3ds Max 9. So it was done using tools that didn't transfer over with the, the formats being used. And that's why the ATT animations are kind of wonky in uh, this version of the model. Like, the legs detaching, which if you didn't notice that before, I'm sorry for pointing that out and zooming in on them for as long as possible. Just going to get right up in there. Yep, see? There's the leg coming off again. And again. And again. And but yes, Blend Blender can thankfully import some of the latest yeah. versions of FBX. In, in fact, it doesn't like any of the older versions of FBX. So as long as we have a really, really uh, recent FBX version, it'll be fine. Yeah, so that should all work fine now for both mods. And that'll be helpful. But just to reiterate, and again. And there's right one back there. And you can see it. And again. All right, I'm done. Yes, the Floating Fortress, the A9 Floating Fortress is in the mod now. Uh, somewhat relevant to this campaign because you have First Remodi who gets a Floating Fortress as his ground unit now. Um, I took the path that, uh, mostly agreeing with everybody who said, why does this thing only have two blaster cannons? And swapped it so that now, by the end, it has like an anti-material laser cannon and uh, Seven heavy blaster cloak cannon. Cloak oh, never mind. You just seem no, to be going off the theme with some of the recent editions, so... Well, yeah, I mean, some of the uh, illegal units are having a lot of slug throwers, but... Uh, and uh, CSA seems pretty fun, do really. Oh, yeah, yeah, they should be good. Um, if you like spamming fighters everywhere. Alright, you guys charge. Weapon armament available. Walker moving to attack. Bombardment incoming. Here we go. Copy. Let's go. Reporting in. 
And it's just that ion cannon that they had here. Reporting. Targeting at maximum firepower. Keep going. This way. Cannons charged. What are your orders? At your command. Going. En route. Let's go. Fire at will. Okay, so we made a lot more progress so far than we did in Death Valley. Soon we'll have the well, entire central section secured. Sheriff's Sheriff's is designed to be defensible. Let's put it that way. Death Valley. Yeah. Attacking. It's a name we do not speak in the Empire anymore. Another New Year. So not, uh, basically nothing that he's added since this playthrough started, which was at this point about a month ago almost. Yeah, uh, I looked at the, I, I looked at your first video. It was literally tenth of August, so it's more than a month now. Because yeah. unfortunately, I did have my whole vacation so thing. Notice? Not unfortunately, I like vacations allegedly, but that does mean that I'm a little bit behind uh, on the newest content. But we'll be doing more PR in the future, so it'll all be there eventually. Yes, so I expect we'll have a really confusing CSA playthrough or something. I'll do it at the same time I'm doing the TR one. And then... I'm sure Maximum no one... confusion for yeah. everybody. It'll be actually the same series, so I'll just... Episode 1 is TR, episode 2, PR, 3... Just oh, wow. Get two crawler factories here. Why not? Live life on the edge. Uh, what does Boda Jeff have? I don't want to find out. I'm scared. Complete. Probably a lot of Y wings. Right, because the CSA AI in this version was We're on our way. only For producing Y wings and what? What was the other thing? Y wings and espos. Okay, those won't help in space. Let's see if uh, if I can do anything about this. The main issue is going to be that super fun kind of you know level five space colony and the Golan. Yeah, I'm leaving. Unless I get interdicted, then everyone else is leaving, and this Architens is staying right there, or exploding slightly. So let's see. the the next The next major space addition that I really need to add is the Allegiance. Then after that, uh, it's the Nebula and Endurance for the Rebels. So then after that, that's pretty much the 2.0 space roster done. Finally. So that's nice. What about Unit X? I prefer Unit Y. Y wings? So does the CSA. You need a rim shot button, you know that? I was just going to buy like an actual drum set and then run over to it every time. I mean, if you just put it in your bedroom, you wouldn't just like turn around. Precisely. Luckily, I had an empty pop can nearby. Several, but that's my problem. By uh, the way, I think the rebels sent a bunch of units between their planets. Yeah, and so just, like, I canceled all my production. Destroyed a bunch of space production. That's a common problem I've been having with my lack of any space units. It's I, kind of funny. I was going to drop that at Sheris. It's not like I lack the credits to... Again, it's just the time thing, right? Start so, uh, yeah. Start building under construction. Do I still have Mon Calamari? I do. Beginning construction. Uh, what am I doing at Mintuween? What do you got for me, Mintuween? Orbital Shipyard level two, so I can get some Carex. There's a parcel company, or delivery company, whatever you want to, I don't know why I called it that, uh, which just throws shit outside your door, and normally I think I'd be angry about that, but they've never, like, called to wake me up, and I've never had to go off in the middle of nowhere to pick up my packages, so I'm okay with it. Like, I just got a notification right now that they delivered the thing I ordered. Juggernaut ready. 
very helpful. And I never didn't even have to get up. Construction complete. All right. So hopefully they won't want to attack that. Station ready. All these planets seem like they'll be fairly heavily defended. Oh, the rebels are the ones doing it. So not. I don't think the CSA has been. No, they haven't been moving anything. It's just the rebels moving from between Agamar and Selenon, I think. Not yeah. Selenon, um, Karosi. So I'm just going to go kill Agamar stuff. Enemy fleet approaching. Enemy fleet incoming at Sheris. Okay, so they, uh, they're they going to try to do something there. There's another Bothan in space here. Many Bothans died in the making of this playthrough. Copy. Heading out. And will EAW mods be on the same version and confuse everyone? I think uh, there's a grand conspiracy among EAW modders to skip the same numbers. So that'll never happen. This way. Version numbers are just a made-up thing to Location make people confirmed. feel better about themselves. Pretty much. Next TR version is going to be 30.2 because no one can beat that. Advancing. Confirmed. Inflation at levels not Forward. seen since the 1920s. Full speed. Ah. Choose your reinforcements. I think P, uh, PR is probably on really version 2.0.100 or something like that. Advancing. Moving out. I started adding uh, letters after ascendancy versions because that feels more appropriate. Heading out. All right, are you going to shoot me with anything? What are these Bothans and shuttles? There's going to be a big, massive shuttle somewhere, and it's going to kill nothing. Yeah, because the base level... Uh, well, the base the base level Barlow's class has one laser, and the base level, like, GR-75 Gallifrey has, like, no lasers. So, yeah, not very effective. Weapons ready. Holding fire for maximum effect. Oh, your stuff comes. Attack. Reporting. Like, aha, we'll draw you in with our undefended space colony and send out our two corvettes. Attack that target. That'll teach you. Yes. Truly an evil, Attack. evil plan. Stay on target. Stay on target. I'll probably bring these Carracks over there just so they can laser at some stuff. Oh, a stream I follow just started playing PUBG. I didn't know that game was still a thing. <laughs> As he sits here playing Empire at War. <laughs> Empire at War is forever. Attacking. Apparently. PUBG is just for Christmas. Ready for battle. Open fire. You can save a modder's life today by uninstalling their copy of Empire at War and sending them outside. Many modders have not seen the sun for over a decade. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to worry about the whole they're not going to be able to kill anything thing where they have appeared to start killing things. That is awkward, yes. Alright, I think the station is not the issue. It doesn't really have very good weapons, no. It's kind of more like chip damage, but then those uh, those little mankas have some pretty brutal quad turbo lasers and very yeah. powerful ion cannons for their size. They need to blow up before my stuff blows up. No, Arky, not Arky. I should have evacuated in my moment of triumph. Oh, and they have the. Uh... They have the Belbel Labs with the Attacking assault target. missiles as well. That's a bad time for you. Well, I'm not on the victory. 
It's alive. No, it's it's dead. Verified. Verified kill. Open fire. Yes, commander. So that's like what half your space fleet there. Mm, close. There's still that invincible over there, and this is the last planet I need to worry about in this area. True. So losses are potentially acceptable. I'm just concerned about my ability to actually kill the station now. Let's move out. Roger that. Yeah, it's not looking good, is it? Let's go. I think three Karaks will do it eventually. Well, once these fighters are gone. Keep going. Oh, there goes the Octans. Here goes another Karak. All that shit I talked about, those freighters. <laughs> yeah, basically. Tactical battle imminent. Ooh, the CSA actually attacked me. Barge active. Pick a number between three and five. Thanks, Boomafu. I'm gonna say two. Barge deployed. Prepare for jump to hyperspace. Screw off your whole thing. The enemy has been spotted. All right, I'm actually gonna end the first episode there. Uh, so Twitch is gonna keep going. Uh, YouTube people, you'll have to wait until tomorrow for the next bit of the stream. Isn't that exciting, everyone? Uh, we'll probably build a fleet, which is probably a necessary thing to win. Uh, and we'll look into our research over here. Oh. Thanks, Sebastian. All right, so I'm going to be heading off. Uh, it's been fun. And I will go back to looking into these crash issues that people have been having since some of the recent patches. So that'll be a fun time, I'm sure. All right. Thanks for joining me, Bob. And uh, have a good time. There's a chance you'll be there on Thursday. I don't know. Yeah, a reasonable chance. There you go, everyone. Bob will be back on Thursday, guaranteed. Bye, Bob. <laughs>